Hey, Guardians! In this video, I brought you an incredibly life-changer build for hunters. You lucky bastard. When was the last time hunters used any build other than the Void subclass in the high-end contents in the game, like Grandmasters? When was the last time any teams in the LFG looked for a hunter teammate except an invisible hunter? Yeah. I know we have the best Void subclass in the entire game. But haven't you become tired of this? From this day on, I want to change everything for you. I do want to change the entire game for you hunters, even for other classes. And you want me to change? Fuck you! I want all of them to witness our new power, new rise, and new dawn. Remember this day, hunters. From this day on, the other classes will know your true power, and I promise the demand for Ark Hunter in the LFG will skyrocket like an invisible hunter. I swear all of you will be an Ark Hunter main after watching this build. Let's watch some gameplay to see what I'm talking about, shall we? No. Indeed, there is nothing better than this. Walking through the ads like the God of Thunder who was summoned to show the rage of gods to whom does not believe in them. These blue fires burn their sins and turn them into ashes. What remains of them will be an emblem for those who did not believe in your power. The sky is your ally and sends its lightning to aid you to rule the earth. What is standing in front of you would be witnessing shiny blue light and infinite emptiness of death. Who wants to challenge the king of gods? Who wants to be king? Who wants to be king? If you're enjoying the power of this build, please make sure to subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more juicy builds. Now, let's dive deeper into this build and see how we can maximize its potential, shall we? Since I designed and tested this build, I have used it in every content of the game, lots of Grandmaster Nightfalls and Master Lost Sectors. Yeah, you heard it right. Not Legends, Masters and Grandmasters. The main key for this build is Shinobu's Vow. 
This exotic simply gives you two skip grenades, improved tracking and grenade energy each time you are doing damage with it. You need to pair this exotic with an arc weapon. You can choose whatever you want, especially those with the Volt Shot perk are the best, but I highly recommend using Centrifuse. This combination with a bunch of artifact mods, armor mods, and fragments will turn you into a god. Not any normal god, the god of gods. Zeus. Let's see who you are. Take off your disguise and flick it. Flick too hard, damn it! Without wasting your time, let's jump into the subclass aspect and fragments, shall we? For the subclass, we need to use Gathering Storm, Marksman's Dodge, and Skip Grenade. Aspect-wise, we need the flow state for becoming amplified more easily and faster dodge cooldown. For the second aspect, we need lethal current because the other fragment sucks. Uh, you make a good point. Fragment-wise, we need spark of shock because it helps us jolt our target with grenades, and this build is all about spamming our grenades. For the second fragment, we need Spark of Ions to help us make ionic traces for activating armor charge and regaining ability energy. Next is the Spark of Discharge. This fragment is another source of creating ionic traces with our arc weapons. Last but not least, the Spark of Amplitude helps us make tons of orbs of power when we are amplified, which is our case all the time. These orbs of power help us to turn on armor charges more frequently, regain our grenade energy each time we use it, and generate our super energy as fast as possible. But in this build, armor mods are as important as fragments. Let's check them. Feel free to pause and copy the mods. Stat-wise, obviously, we need discipline, resilience, and mobility as much as possible. Another crucial factor that makes this build very OP is the seasonal artifact. Again, feel free to pause and copy them. Although the Arc Artifact mods are very useful in this season, I believe this build remains OP for all the time until Bungie nerfs it. Without further ado, let's check how this build works. I believe this is the strongest Hunter build in the entire game, not only because it is so powerful, but also because using it is very simple. It does not need any pre-work for becoming activated, just spam your grenade on the ads and remember, do not miss your grenade. It's not necessary to get a final blow, but if you do, that's an asset. But it is definitely required that you do damage to the adds with your grenade, and that's enough. You see, this is very easy to do, especially because the tracking of the skip grenade is so insane. And also, don't forget to spam your dodge as well without any reason. That's it. It works as simply as it seems. Go ahead and give this fun and powerful build a try, and let me know in the comments how much you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. By doing so, you will motivate me to create better videos for you and help grow our channel. I swear to bring you tons of broken builds this season. I'm here to make your dreams possible so you can make mine. Thanks. Love you. Don't forget to drop a comment, like and subscribe. Thank you!